Here's an inspirational story. A 16-year-old Johannesburg pupil, Tala Patel, is helping scientists reach inaccessible and dangerous places. He's developed a multi-purpose motorized robot, which is essentially a mobile science lab. The rugged robot is equipped to cover rough terrain and is complete with sensors to collect data and an arm to gather supplies, samples. It also boasts a camera that can be used to create a 3D virtual model of an area. And this one, I'm a gold medal at the 2020 Eskom Expo for Young Scientists. He joins us now to talk to us about his achievements. A very good morning to you. I mean, how to make the rest of the population feel utterly useless. Tell us a little bit more about this robot that you designed and why. A good morning to you and your listeners. Um, uh, the reason that I built this robot was that there's a huge problem with farm sustainability and food sustainability in the country. And I found that there's huge corporations out there that have the money to produce these big machines, but there's no small man in business. So I thought um, maybe I could introduce a cheap and efficient way to produce a robot that could help these people with food sustainability and other uh, dangerous places where they can't access. So uh, that was my main goal for this project. Okay, and how does it work? So um, currently it's in the background here, but uh, there's uh, six motors on it and it uh, is using a rocker bulky design. So that's the same design that NASA is using in their robots. And this should allow to traverse any kind of la uh, land, um, that being rocky or muddy. And also it has um, different IoT sensors on it. So that being Raspberry Pis and Arduino. And this all communicates through the cloud or through a uh, RS transceiver that can be communicated in a 10 kilometer range. Okay, I mean, you're only 16. How do you get to know this kind of stuff? Is this, has this been a passion all your, your life? How much studying did you have to do? So I, it started off really, like from a really young age, it was me and my uncle building uh, hydrolysis machines in the garage or building potato guns, <laughs> really small stuff like this. And then from there, I've just been, it's mostly like YouTube and uh, just searching on the internet, how do you do this, how do you do that? And then you just go on and on. Uh, and then I entered these competitions and then I found a community where people would support me and uh, give me the support that I need, that be in, in uh, uh, help on a very technical level or just uh, emotional support because it's a lot of work sometimes and I think it's been this whole long journey through that. Yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's incredible and obviously <laughs> you're a clever boy. Tell me more about your hopes and aspirations, you know, what it felt like to win this prize and where you see yourself and, and see yourself making in, say, 10 years' time. I was filled with joy when I won uh, gold, um, but I knew that I'm not going to stop here. So it gave me um, it gave me inspiration to go forward and push for something that I think is impossible for now, but I could I may hit in the next few years. So, um, but I I really see myself. I want to go into something engineering or science. Uh, so that being maybe mechatronics or. Uh, just a basic physics degree and then do something in CS or something like that. Yeah, but I really want to start working and try to see how companies work, mostly in uh, robotics and computer science. Talith, very good to talk to you and congratulations. Best luck for the future.